burlesque yourself all the time, you know. Not at all, no. I mean, after, they are necessary to the script and to the action and to the film. So, uh, you know, you cooperate with them and do as much as you can to make it easy for them. Yeah, but we all know about all the scenes where John Wayne is there and the women are going, bye bye. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, we know about how, you know, certain actors, they always seem to get in the center of everything, you know? That's the director. Because that's, um, that's what they're selling. Oh, Lordy. I, or, or, can, or was there a particular experience uh, that defined to you as a, as a male the, uh, like the quintessential actress? I suppose, uh, well, only because I've known her, I know her so well, and we've worked, you know, is uh, um, Deborah Carr. I had, uh, you know, we sort of. I've worked with her, I think, three times. She was wonderful. She was wonderful. I mean, I loved, even with Frank Sinatra, I mean, she, she just, she made him look so good. <laughs> Big improvement over Gil St. John. Um, now, how, tell me a little bit about uh, 19. More or less, yeah, yeah. Because you made great choices. I remember in the human comedy, there's a uh, one shot. They, that was really something, you know, because they tarped in two whole streets at MGM, you know, for the night work. And there's a one uh, traveling shot of Van, Van Johnson, Don DeFore, and me, all, and then Mickey, I guess, all walking down the street, four abreast or three abreast. And uh, it's spelled ooh, because we're all bow-legged. And I remember Frank Morgan was the telegrapher, and uh, he's supposed to be a nipper. And uh, it's the first time I ever saw this. We go into the telegraph office, and he reaches in the drawer and takes out a jug like this and takes a whack out of it, and he says, <coughs> I always make it a point to you in my prop scenes that he was real whiskey, and he did too. <laughs> 